Detroit. But the state of Michigan owes us over $200 million. And the politicians admit we owe you Detroit is $200 million. Now they backfire. After saying admitting it, well, we're not too sure. Well, that agreement was between the former governor of England and the former mayor Dennis Hodge. Besides, if we pay you the money, what good is it going to do? What is it going to do to solve your problems? If you give us the money you owe us, then we can begin to solve our problems. Self-determination is a right of everyone. Our brothers and sisters in Israel have a right to self-determination and have a right to existence without terror. You can give God a clap. But the people in the surrounding areas, the Palestinians, they got some rights too. And they also have a right to live in peace and to practice self-determination and not to be terrorized. And the people in Detroit, the people in Detroit, Detroit, which saved all of us from speaking German by moving from auto manufacturing to weapon manufacturing, the arsenal of democracy during World War II. We give God a hand clap. If you feel me, it's all right. It's all right. We owe Detroit a debt. Detroit, which taught us about unions and the right to work, I mean, to have a 40-hour work week and have vacations and whatnot. It was Detroit that taught the country that. We can give God a hand clap. It was Detroit that taught us how to sing and to dance, Motown. Anybody feel me in the house? Smoking. Aretha Franklin. The tempting temptations. That was Detroit. Let's give God a hand clap. That was Detroit. Detroit deserves some respect. And when you leave out of Detroit and you go into what's called upper or outer Michigan, Detroit is a cold word for something that rhymes with the word trigger. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But Detroit has a right to practice self-determination and not to be taken over. And all of this taken over under the emergency manager law. Why is it every area is generally populated by African Americans? That's the question for us to ask. So what I'm saying to you, beloved, we cannot wait on justice. Justice delayed is justice denied. Justice delayed, justice denied is no justice at all. If, if it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's wrong to do something to white folks, then it's wrong to do it to black people. Anybody feel me now? We all want the same. And we all want equal protection under the laws of this land. So yes, I'm upset about brother, our young brother in uh, Florida. I'm upset. I'm hurt, as we all should be. I appreciate my brother who put on the hoodie today. Give him a hand. I appreciate that. And all across TV, you see African American mothers telling their children, don't wear your hoodie. Don't do this. You got to be quiet. You got to be super humble. And these are byproducts left over from slavery. These are discussions we're not having as a people, as a society, as a community, as a nation. I don't want black men who have to be tiptoeing around. I want the black man to stand up and be ready just like any other man. He looked like a gangster. What does a gangster look like? 
To me, a gangster looks like George W. Bush. To me, to me, a gangster looks like George W. Bush father. To me, a gangster looks like Dick Cheney. To me, a gangster looks like David Rockefeller. To me, a gangster looks like AIG. To me, a gangster looks like those big time investment bankers, speculators who brought the world economy down and was still fucking drunk. That's what a gangster looks like. So is it okay to hunt people down in three piece? $10,000 Brooks Brothers suits? Barry, is that all right? Since we're after the gangsters, does anybody feel me in the house? So, beloved family, what you saying, Brother Boyd, as you wrap this thing up? This is what I'm saying. We all belong to one another. We all bear a responsibility to one another. A starving child is a starving child. It does not matter what his color is. A starving, hungry child is a starving, hungry child. We must unite and eliminate poverty. Whether that poverty is in Detroit with black people, or whether that poverty is in the Appalachian Mountains, where you can't get any whiter than the people in the Appalachian Mountains. Anybody feel me in the house today? Any praying people? Are any praying Jews in the house? Any praying Muslims in the house? Any praying Christians in the house today? We have to unite and take a stand for what is right and stand up and say what is wrong and work to 